You need to have a CDL. You cannot be driving that dump truck unless you have a commercial driver's license. Being very transparent with you guys, I actually don't have a CDL. If you get pulled over, let me tell you guys, you're in big trouble. This is Jay Mancini. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we keep the wheels rolling and the cash flowing. And today we're gonna to be talking about the permits you need before starting your dump truck business. So first things first, guys, before you start your dump truck business, there's some essential things you need to know. And the very first thing you need to know is the permits that you're gonna need before starting that dump truck business. So before we start talking about the permits that you need when starting a dump truck business, the reason why these permits are so essential, you need to have them in place before you can actually even start your dump truck business. Meaning legal reasons, operating reasons, and of course, being able to actually start the business itself without getting into, again, legal situations, but also making sure that when you have a truck out on the road, everything's in order. So first thing guys, if you're an owner operator, you may already know this, I'm hoping you do. You need to have a CDL, commercial driver's license. Of course, most of us know what a commercial driver's license is, but guys, for you that don't know what a CDL is, again, commercial driver's license, meaning you're, you have a driver's license and you can drive a commercial vehicle with that driver's license. This could be a type A, or even a type B, depending on what kind of truck. But of course, we're talking about dump trucks. So type A would be best, but if you have just a type B, that'll work as well, as long as it's, again, a commercial driver's license. Commercial driver's license, you can get two ways. One, you can get it through going to a particular training school, or you can study and do it yourself. But in my personal opinion, it may be a little harder that way, especially if you're new in the dump truck business. I'll give you some examples why a CDL is the primary key to starting a dump truck business. Well, again, if you're an owner operator, legally, you cannot be driving that dump truck unless you have a commercial driver's license. This is a big time legal matter, so you have to have a CDL. If you get pulled over and you don't have a commercial driver's license, let me tell you guys, you're in big trouble. We're gonna leave it at that. Now, if you're a non-operator, but you are a truck owner, then you do not need a CDL. In my case, being very transparent with you guys, I actually don't have a CDL. Even though I can drive a truck, right? I don't because I don't have a CDL. So I'm not gonna take that chance and drive a truck if I don't have a commercial driver's license. However, what I did, and you can also do, is hire someone who does, okay? So when I first started, again, not having a CDL, what I had to do is I had to look for a driver that had a commercial driver's license. And one of the few things that I did was I actually met the person and I actually talked to them and I actually asked them several questions regarding, of course, their background, uh, you know, more about their experience, who had they been driving for in the past. And the one thing that I do, guys, is I actually have them go in my truck and do several things, which will be for another video that will actually tell me if this guy really knows what he's doing and if he's qualified for the job. And if you guys want to know more about how I interview and choose drivers, drop a comment below and we'll make a video. The next most important permit that you need, it's actually technically not a permit, but it's like a permit. You need to open an LLC. And I've mentioned this in one of my videos before, 10 things you need to know when starting a dump truck business. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. Main thing about an LLC, it's gonna protect you from your personal assets. And if you don't already know, the trucking business has a lot of liabilities. So it's very important for you to get an LLC. And just a disclaimer, I'm not an attorney, you can do the business without an LLC. However, I would save myself the trouble and it's better to be safe than sorry. Next, get the public or general liability. If you're a broker or wanting to be a broker, you definitely have to have general liability. Now, if you're an owner operator, you probably already know this, you have to have insurance on your truck. And one of the things that I talked about in one of my previous videos, 10 things you need to know when starting a dump truck business, I talk about how and why it's very important to make sure you have the proper insurance. And if you guys wanna see a video and learn more about how insurance companies work and making sure you have the proper coverage, please comment below. The following permit is a must have, regardless whether you're an owner operator or you just own the truck, you have to have this permit to make sure the truck is on the road. The following is a USDOT permit provided by the FMCSA, which stands for Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. You can register for your USDOT at the following, fmcsa.gov 
dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.dot.d